Welcome! So about four months ago, a little before Christmas in fact, I did a three-way record trade with two fellow YouTube content creators who are also big record collectors, the geeky heathen and not suitable for mum. So much fun doing that, not only receiving two surprise, kind of surprise records, but ones that I put on a want list, but also choosing and sending out. Last time I sent records out to Jason, I received some from geeky heathen, and Geeky received his from Jason. So this time round, it's the same three, me, Jason and Glenn, and uh, we've swapped round. So this time I've sent out to Geeky Heathen. Geeky Heathen has sent to Jason, and Jason Clo has sent me this box here. As you can see, I have already opened this because it was quite big and cumbersome, and I didn't want to be struggling and maybe uh, potentially having some sort of accident here. You ever heard of actual record mailers, Jason? I know he likes these big boxes, and they are good, actually, to be fair. They're rather big for a couple of vinyl records, which is presumably what's in here as this is a record trade yeah we wanted to do this again at some point uh, a few months into the new year I'm hoping this will be an ongoing thing between the three of us I'd like to think we'd get another one of these done maybe at some point in the summer and then again at Christmas but um, we'll see you know how things are with life and plans and stuff but we've managed to get it done one more time at least and thank you so much, Jason, for sending this out. I've not looked in the box, obviously. And also thank you to Glenn, Geeky Heathen, again, for taking part. I hope you enjoy what I've sent you. I'll leave links for NSFM and Geeky at the top of my description text box. All our videos should be going out the same day, around the same time, possibly. But otherwise, if not, and you're watching me first, just check back at Jason and Glenn's channels throughout the day as you'll be able to see what they've received in this record trade. So the rules were the same as last time, a list of around 10 or so records that you want, price to spend, we didn't really say, last time we said around 20 to 30, but we all kind of spent more than that. So we just kind of left it up to each other's discretion, really. Right then, Jason has addressed this to Jimmy Blind Willie Barnes. Thank you for that, Jace. That's my blues name. Shouldn't be any blues in this box here because I didn't put any down on my want list. Oh, it's come nicely bubble wrapped here. I'm trying not to look too hard. I've got my bins on as well in case Jason has left a note. Uh, does feel like he has. I'm going to try and read it, Jace. You know it is for me right now. So if I can't read this right here, I do apologize. Hi, Jimmy. Just a quick note to say thank you for organising this again and hope these records are to your taste. Oh, fine, you say, I say, I can't read that. I, I do apologise. Trust Jason to write his longest letter yet when I'm blind. Oh dear. Look forward to seeing you unbox this on your channel. Have hope, hopefully... <laughs> You can read this. <laughs> I'm struggling, as you can tell, and uh, Jason's writing's not too bad. Amazingly, given that the man has even worse eyesight than myself, will just say, oh, I can't see. I think something about um, sending best wishes to my family. Love you, dude. Oh, Jason at NSFM. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jason. I, I wanted to read this verbatim, but um, it's really difficult for me at the moment. It won't be for much longer. P.S. Included an extra for you, I think that says. Oh, wow. Thank you, Jace. Right then. Let's see what Mr. Clo has sent me today. A lot of bubble wrap. Ooh, what is this? Uh, oh, I think I know what this is. It's difficult for me to actually see, but I believe this is a Glass Vegas album. I'll put up on screen what the name of the album is because I can't exactly remember but this looks like something when I was starting to collect Glass Vegas a month or two back. I'm sure I saw this particular sleeve. I think it's called actually Later When The TV Turns To Static. I think that's the right one. If that's the wrong album title I'll have put the right one on screen but I'm pretty sure it's this. I mean, design of the album looks like static, doesn't it? Thank you so much, Jace. Delighted with this first one here as Glass Vegas is a collection. Brilliant band from Scotland. I did a video on them not too long ago and it's a collection that's quite small. It's like four albums really, so uh, 
shouldn't take too long to complete and none of them are particularly expensive either. Glass Vegas there, I think, I'm 99% sure. Brilliant, thank you so much Jace. On we go. Something here that uh, doesn't feel like it's sealed, so this could be like a second hand thing. Ah, oh, ah, oh, brilliant, ah oh, wow. Matt Berry, Phantom Birds. Matt Berry, I've only got one album by him. The TV themes covers album that he did. What's that? two years ago-ish now, maybe a bit more. Oh, I love that, I think it was brilliant. And I wanted a particular Matt Berry edition. Yeah, this is second hand. There's a very slight tear at the top there, but it doesn't matter, it's fine. Excellent stuff there, really happy. I will get this one out for a quick look, because I think I did request on my want list that I wanted a particular color variant of this, if possible. And let's have a look. Nice inner, by the way. Oh yeah, that's, uh, I would call that a bright pink disc there. I think this came out in a couple of colour variants and I said either one of those as opposed to the standard black edition. So yeah, Phantom Birds by Matt Berry. That's another collection I think, certainly now, I think I want to work on. He's more famous really for being a comedy actor. You know, he's been in stuff, he's been in all kinds of stuff. IT crowd is probably what he's most famous for arguably. He was in Darth Merengue's Dark Place. Is in the FX series, What We Do in the Shadows, which I've started watching. It's like a mockumentary type thing. It's all right, that, actually. Um, I've not been compelled enough to continue finishing season one yet, but I'm a few episodes into it. And while it's no office, in my opinion, and no Parks and Rec, it's that sort of format. It is good. And if you're a fan of like horror and stuff mixed with comedy, you know, vampires and things, then I think you'd get a real kick out of it. It's on Disney+. Plus. But yeah, Phantom Birds there, Matt Berry, along with Glass Vegas today. Thank you so much, Jace. Really appreciate those. All right. Yep, he has sent me an extra thing. What's he sent me? Oh, oh, nice. Oh, brilliant. Beat this. Bomb the bass. It's a 12-inch single. Oh, excellent. I didn't put any singles or anything down on my list, but Jason knows the kind of things that I like. He knows that I do like Bomb the Bass. He's a big Bomb the Bass fan. I think he's got most of, if not all, their albums on some format or another. Beat this by Bomb the Bass. I don't know if this was something Jason bought somewhere or out of his own collection. I wouldn't have thought it was out of his own collection unless he got a duplicate because of him being a Bomb the Bass collector. I do have a Bomb the Bass 12 inch single, um, Mega Blast and Don't Make Me Wait, which is one of the best double A sides of all time for me because both singles, both songs on a double A side like that are really strong. Beat This, I think, came out just before that. It got to number two in the UK, if memory serves. It's got uh, one of those old style inners that starts to smell a bit. No, it doesn't smell funky, it just smells of its age, you know. There we are standard black there on the Mr. Ron label. Looking forward to this. Not sure what the remixes or extra tracks the B-sides are and uh, probably won't be able to read them properly on the actual centre label. Wow, thank you so much Jace. Amazing stuff. Beat this by Bomb the Bass was a nice surprise extra from Not Suitable for Mom. And then also here Pink Edition Phantom Birds by Matt Berry, amazing. So glad I've got one of Matt Berry's proper studio albums. As much as I love his television themes, it's kind of more of a gimmick thing. So I'm really kind of intrigued to listen to his proper music, his original music, but he is highly rated as a musician now, as much as he is an actor and comedian. So uh, I can't wait to listen to that. And Glass Vegas here, which this will be, I think, their third album when the TV turns to static. My Glass Vegas collection is, I think, three quarters complete now. So thank you so much, Jason. I really appreciate it, my friend, for another amazing record trade. Really, really enjoyed doing this. And as I said before, hopefully we'll be doing it again at least a couple of times this year and uh, for however long that we want to be buying each other records. For me, it's just a nice way of three friends, three people who make videos regularly on YouTube and three record collectors doing something that's a little bit like what Secret Santa was. You know, we tell each other what we want, but then it's still a surprise because it could be any couple of items off a list of 10 records. It's perfect, really. We get what we want, we get what we ask for, but it's still a surprise on the day. I want to say thank you all for watching this unboxing 
of these records from Jason in the three-way record trade part two. And I want to say special thanks, as always, to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons. Please see my Patreon link and my Facebook group link, and a link for contents insurance as well, all down in the description below. And there is some other interesting referral links for things that don't really relate to records, but to regular viewers of the channel will, of course, know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to go now, and which should I listen to first? I often ask that. Not enough people reply in the comments. Come on, let me know. Which should I listen to first? I'm getting a bit of a backlog of stuff I need to listen to as well, to be honest. <laughs> should it be Glass Vegas from Glasgow? Should it be the supremely funny and talented Mr. Matthew Berry with Phantom Birds? Or should it be this 12-inch single, Bomb the Bass? Let me know. And they're all going to get listened to anyway, and it doesn't really matter ultimately, but um, it's nice to interact, isn't it? And I do hope that all of you will join me and Glenn and Jason again for our next three-way record trade. Cheers, everyone. See ya!